All right, so today I just wanted to show some of my recent pickups. First up, we have this. I actually showed this in the last video, but this is a piece from Amatora Vintage. Check them out on IG. They also have a, a website as well. It's basically just like a faded 1950s fraternity crew neck. I just like the how distressed it is and how washed it is and just the wear. You can really see the age on this piece. All right, next up, I did pick up a lot of like Arcteryx pieces. Um, obviously, I do work there. First one I wanted to show today is this pair of shorts. I think I showed this in the last video as well, but these are the pair of Gamma lightweight shorts. They're really nice and baggy and really lightweight. So this is actually a really good pickup for the summer. See the details on there. It's got like a pocket down here and then two pockets on the side. And then it can be cinched um, adjustable waist, which is nice. I actually picked up a size 36. I would say size up on these, but I think that's honestly just me. I'm, I, I really liked like, the oversized fit on these. This pickup I'm really, really happy with. This jacket right here is a, a Valence jacket. So it is from Arcteryx, but it's from the Valence line, which um, if you don't know, it's basically like Arcteryx is more like fashion forward line. Um, so a lot of the jackets are gonna come with none of the Arcteryx brand name. They're gonna be pretty sleek and refined. And, and I feel like it gives like a very futuristic look. Basically this right here is the Altus down jacket. It is $1,400, which I don't believe is worth it at all, but you're definitely paying for the quality like in hand. I can definitely tell that this is a step up from a lot of the other like Arcteryx pieces that I have. This is definitely like a winter pickup. The outer material is 13 denier. If you don't know what that is, it's like, it's basically like a durability rating that Arcteryx gives to its like hard shell products. Um, for example, if you guys are familiar with like the Alpha SV, which is like Virgil wore on the runway, but that's the shell that's $800 and it's used for Alpine ascents. So like, it's basically like a climbing jacket. So it's gonna be really durable. And to put that into perspective, the Alpha SV is a 100 denier whereas this is 13 denier but either way it's like significantly lower in terms of like the durability but i actually prefer that in terms of this jacket because it makes it a lot less noisy because a lot of those hard shells when you're wearing them it's like you just hear this really annoying like crinkling whereas with this it's a lot less of that noise it's got like fully down insulated on the inside. And then it's also fully waterproof as well. All right, and then next up, we got these pair of cargo. So these are the Rampart cargos. I believe Arcteryx made these like a couple years ago and then they just recently brought them back. The reason I like these is because usually with Arcteryx pants, a lot of the times they, they're pretty like slim fitting and like tapered. Like even with their regular fit pants compared to like the pants I usually wear, they're really like, I would consider them like pretty skinny and pretty like slim fitting. And this one, this, this cargo is supposed to be like a regular fit um but honestly i think these are more of like a baggy fit i also got a size 36 in these okay so this next jacket is also from arcteryx this is really just i should just title this video arcteryx haul basically this right here is the uh beta jacket we get like a piece every quarter so i got this for my q1 piece all right last arcteryx pickup we got this right here i just got this backpack in this is the granville 25 liter pack but the granville is nice because a lot of the backpacks are People think it's water waterproof, but they're all just like water resistant. This is the only fully waterproof backpack. Moving on, we got this jacket right here, which is just a basic Carhartt Detroit jacket. And I picked this up for a steal recently. I went to this vintage market in downtown Seattle where I picked this up. This was what the price was, and I haggled down to 120. Okay, let's see how it fits though, bro. Probably what I'll do is just like take this patch off. That's for the winter. Think? You think it's winter? Cool? Yeah, I like it. Dude, I look like a clone right now, but I'm happy. I have this too, bro. Actually, this one's well, better though. This type of fade. Also, I can flip this too. If I don't wear it, I can flip it for like. Oh, that's crazy, man. bro. That's not Depop? These be going for like four or five. Okay, not five, but like what? three. That's like not three. true. No, two. I checked. Oh, shake some. Shake Let's some. See. Wait, wait, wait. Um, but yeah, basically it's just like a very faded distress jacket. It's got like the flannel lining on the inside, pretty beat up. And then it's got a lot of distressing here, like at the bottom and then as well as on the cuffs. And the reason I, I feel like I got this just because like I've been seeing a lot of these pieces on Instagram 
like some really heavily faded ones and they just look really clean in my opinion. You can't go wrong with like just a faded destroyed work jacket. But yeah, really happy with this piece. Also got these pants from a Studio Nixon, which are, I think they're a Montreal based brand. They're pretty new, pretty small on IG as well. But yeah, I wanted a pair of like baggy kind of lightweight pants. And these are really nice because they have like the pleats on the front. They got some big pockets on the back. I just like the construction of these because they're more like a balloon fit. So they kind of taper a little bit at the bottom. All right, and then lastly, uh, I got these pair of New Balances. These are the Stray Rats, the A27s. I actually traded my Soul Vam jacket from the last pickups video to get these, um, but I'm really happy with how these fit and uh, just looking forward to like beating these up in the summer, just wearing them a lot. Um, we got the Stray Rats. I just picked these up. Wow. These are the New Balance A27s. Were they new? Um, I think they're pretty much dead stock. Like when I got them, there was like some like wear on the like, Soul, but not a lot honestly it's like pretty much dead stock mm -hmm. um and i paid them for a pretty good price honestly yeah like considering that these go for like eight plus on like ebay and then the shorts are arteryx gamma lightweights um and then the shirt it's just basic shirt what does that say what does this say uh, it says d's like d's nuts <laughs> yeah you have to come stand <laughs> and then uh this shirt is cdg I actually have this in store. If you don't know, if you haven't listened to this, it's really fire. Uh, Ethiopian jazz. A lot of the like music that I use in my videos is like demos from his okay, like, older okay. work, basically. So. Toes out. Toes out. Also, this is a city boy summer. City boy. Damn, bro. Dude, this is gonna look so dumb. No, you're gonna look so beautiful, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel you're what it's so like to actually. Twist an ankle. No, you won't. They're actually comfortable. Look, <laughs> they're actually comfortable. You're gonna look wonderful. You're gonna feel so different when you put those on. I feel like a bad bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're really. Good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Sorry. Just stand Just, up, bro. Ooh. Just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> it's big, bro. <laughs> How you feeling? Hey, bro. Yeah. Everybody gets tired. No refund, guys. How do you feel? I feel big. I have some more pickups to show from some of my friends, which you're going to see in the next uh, portion here. Alright, so first pickup. Is We're here with the Barn Owl owner. I'm not the owner, bro. <laughs> pickup number one, non native bag I got, a crossbody bag. Okay. A little messenger bag, some crossbody action. That's really far. I, this is like my be like basically like my school backpack right now. And nice. I bought it hoping it would like manifest like an internship that I could use it, but so far nothing. <laughs> yeah, big uh, things on the way, huh? Maybe, maybe not. All right, so here's a 45 RPM Sear Sucker shirt. I got with the same body package. Yeah. Just kind of, it might have shrunk a little bit in the wash because mm. it smelled like cigarettes when I got it. Yeah, they're just, uh, that's clean. Super cool. I wore it a few days ago. I, I it's, it's just like, I love, love the uh, pattern. Nice and lightweight for the summer. Yep. Good, like, date night shirt or whatever. This uh, Visvum shirt as well, which I just noticed this morning has a stain on it right there. Yeah. But, uh, oh well. Cool, like, Oh yeah, the elbow patches. Elbow patches right yeah. there. I didn't realize it was like a pinkish purple when I got it. I thought it was like gray, but I kind of like this color. Yep. Um, but they like old date night or office shirt as well. I guess I'll get do one more. I, I ordered beam shorts. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. The... I ended up giving them to my girlfriend because they're, they're like a <laughs> the... women's medium, not a men's oh. medium. So it was like the OG 107 ones, yeah, right? the yeah. green ones. So I just give them to her. Nice. But she got me this from here actually for my birthday. Cotton flannel, Sears, 1960s. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I've worn this like every day since I got it. It's soup, so comfy, you can like sleep in it. And then- What material is it? 100% uh, cotton. 
It's like the old like cotton like flannels. Um, they pop up, all the colors pop a lot more yeah. than like your traditional, kind of like acrylic or wool blend. Um, Cause like a lot of flannels now kind of like, uh, yeah, they just like kind of screen brand on or whatever. That's true. And then Carson got me this shellac tea, which Whoa. is like my favorite band. That's fire. But yeah. All right. We're here with JP. We got the Arcteryx Lunar New Year Alpha SV. It's got the the gradient logo on the front. We've just got the regular logo, but the bird replaced with the with yeah. the rabbit. Lunar New Year. I oh, don't damn. actually know what that says. Um, this is actually a women's model, but yeah. How much is it? The, it's eight hundred, right? Retails for eight eighty. Yeah. Um, that's 880. I, so it's a little more than the usual one that's yeah, 800. Right? 80 dollars more than the regular. But don't tell him you got it on discount. Just say, just say. You know, I, I actually <laughs> had to pay a little extra for this. It paid around a thousand. <laughs> but you know, clean. it fits fits pretty nicely. It's a little bit snug in the in the armpits, but you know, honestly, yo, the fit is actually crazy. Yeah, fits nice. It's hard, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit shorter than I expected. That's actually crazy piece. All right, and then we. This got... one, I'm actually jealous. This is the. Uh, We've got this? the Nuclei SV. Yeah. Just feel how much insulation is on there. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's so like cool. a really heavy. This how is, much is this one? This was this was only four hundred dollars actually. Four hundred is not bad for like probably the warmest jacket that our Terrence ever made. Yeah. Hey Mackenzie. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna add you in there. Don't worry. All right, we got that uh, Nuclei SV jacket here. Okay. Um, so much insulation, like it's literally too much for like literally anywhere that I would go, but it's got a nice little- This is actually kind of big. Oh, the stuff sack. Yeah, the stuff sack in there. Isn't it know. synthetic insulation too? It's all synthetic. Dude, so this is an insane piece. Pocket here. And we also don't make it anymore. Literally the most fire jacket that we sell and it's not even on the market anymore. So. <laughs>